Does exercise help or does it harm your arthritis? Check out this video to find out more. Let's go. Hi and welcome, I am Coach Tanya here at Critical Bench and today in this video I'm going to be talking about exercise and arthritis. Um, and is it actually, is it smart, does it help, is it good to do exercise when you have arthritis or is it actually harming you and making your arthritis worse? So we're going to talk about that, I'm going to talk about that a little bit more. And um, But before I get started, I want you to check out that pinned comment below for a wonderful program that if you do have arthritis, and actually you don't have to have arthritis for this program to work for you, but it is an excellent program, any age, any fitness level, um, no matter kind of where you're at or what you're needing, it's the Unlock Your Hip Flexors, and it is fantastic. Um, it's just a fantastic program to help increase flexibility, range of motion, your overall health, because it focuses on very targeted movements that um, work that psoas muscle, which are really, it's the key to your vitality. And you can, you know, click that pinned comment, you can learn all, like a whole lot more about that, how to get that program. We'd love to, um, to help you out with that, so please check that out. Okay, exercise and arthritis. Now, probably most of you watching this, I, I actually don't know if there's anybody that I know who doesn't know someone who has arthritis. And actually, I'm starting to get a little bit, I'm noticing it in my, um, my fingers a little bit. So, um, do a lot of typing. So, by the end of the week, my hands can be pretty sore. <laughs> but um, my, a lot of people in my family have arthritis. Some just mild and they, um, they do certain exercises and stretches. They're doing things in, as part of their lifestyle to help minimize their pain and their discomfort with arthritis as well as to allow them to stay as you know, active and mobile and you know, vivacious as possible. But for some people, arthritis is really, uh, it's really starting to limit them. It's limiting, limiting them in their mobility. It's you know, sucking some of the joy and fun out of their life because they are in a lot of pain. And sometimes in very extreme cases, um, where arthritis has gotten quite bad, people are getting older, it's just sort of an ongoing chronic issue that gets worse over time. A lot of these people end up finding that they're, you know, they start to rely a lot on medication to help with it. And I'm certainly not going to uh, dismiss that or negate that in any way as being wrong. Um, definitely medication treatments have their place. A lot of times the medications that can be prescribed and even over the counter that do help with um, arthritis, because arthritis is an inflammation, it's the inflammation that's causing the pain, can be very hard on the stomach. So, you know, we, when you think about it, if you're taking an anti-inflammatory or an arthritis specific medication once in a while when it gets really bad or when you know you're going to be doing something that's probably going to um, you know, sort of almost be like a catalyst for really aggravating your arthritis and your pain, taking these medications definitely have their place because you don't want to be miserable and uncomfortable and in pain. But if you think about it, if, if it's to the point where you're having to take these medications all the time, every single day, repeatedly, it can have another effect on you know, your digestive system, your stomach, it could cause some other issues. It doesn't have to be that way, but there is a potential for that and that can be very unpleasant as well. So um, there's a lot of things we, we look at with arthritis um, as far as how bad is it, where is it located, what's your lifestyle like and how is arthritis maybe compromising. So I want to talk about exercise and is exercise something that can be part of, part of your arthritis plan as far as how to manage it, how to manage that pain and how to maybe slow down the, like a progression or it getting worse over time. So we all know that exercise is good for us. Regardless, regardless of age, regardless of situation, exercise is good because our body is made to move and moving it is really good. It's good for us physically and it's good for us mentally. So moving is good and moving is exercise. It just is. Walking is exercise. <laughs> so if you're doing a lot of walking, keep doing more of that. Now, as we get older, exercise definitely becomes, I'm going to say becomes more important because there can be a tendency to maybe slow down. I mean, our bodies do slow down. 
I, and I always say getting older doesn't mean getting old necessarily. Um, I think maybe I need to reframe how I said that because I just said exercise is more important, which I do agree with and I will stand by that statement. But I think it, um, what I really want to say is in my opinion, it, it becomes or it needs to become more of a priority because as we get older, you know, our eyesight maybe isn't as good. So our depth perception, so, you know, walking, taking steps uh, can feel a little more daunting. Um, we maybe can't, you know, maybe we were, uh, I don't know, played baseball most of our lives and all of a sudden running around the bases is, it's a little more difficult. Get more winded, the knees hurt, the hips hurt, can't run as fast. Like lots of things happen as we get older, the body slows down. So it doesn't mean we need to stop exercise, but certainly modifying exercise, choosing other things that work better in our lifestyle that are safer to like to prevent falls if that's a possibility. Um, as we get older, there could be other health issues, injuries that happen. So it's about looking at exercise and what works now as opposed to what was working then. Like what could we do? I know like in my 20s and 30s, being able to just get up and like do whatever. You know, I did a lot of traveling and I did a lot of crazy things. <laughs> I did a lot of crazy things that I would never do now, or at least not without thinking about it and probably taking a lot more safety precautions. However, that's another video. Um, it's more about like where are you at? And I always tell people, start where you're at right now, because I would have people, when I had my own company, I would have people come into my office of all ages, you know, very young, more athletes looking for a specific, plan for a specific goal, um, middle age to older that were just wanting to get into better fitness, you know, be more fit, be more active, be much more healthy. So it's always start where you're at. So if you find yourself a little older, you got a little more aches and pains, you know, exercise is still impo important, but probably like really make it a priority because that movement is so important and helpful. So we have two choices. If if arthritis is something that affects you, if you're noticing that, if you've been told that you have arthritis, what to what, whatever degree, like mild to severe, you've you got two choices. You can just stop, or or you know, basically eliminate the idea altogether of exercise, or doing any kind of exercise, or choose to continue to or start some kind of exercise, but modify it or do things that work with where you're at. So telling somebody who has arthritis that they should be exercising or to exercise more could be met with a, <laughs> can you imagine telling somebody who's sitting in front of you and saying, I have all this pain in my knees and my hips and to find out, well, you have arthritis, you need to exercise. They might look at you like, are you crazy? I just told you that moving hurts and you're telling me to move. <laughs> the American College of Rheumatology guidelines suggest the following. Exercise should be one of the mainstays of treatment for osteoarthritis of the hip and knee. So yeah, somebody that has arthritis, somebody that's suffering with arthritis pain might look at you like you're crazy if you suggest exercise and yet the people that are the experts in that field are saying exercise is actually really important for this, okay? Um, and as well in the medical community, it is, it's, a, it's largely agreed upon by very many and most health professionals that arthritis and some form of exercise plan can coexist. I don't think any doctor would tell you that in the moment, in the moment of your most severe pain, get up and run. I don't, that's not what, what I'm suggesting, but they are suggesting that exercise should and needs to be a part of your plan, your arthritis treatment plan, okay? So the research does show us that people who have arthritis but exercise regularly, okay, overall have less pain, they have more energy, they sleep better, and they do have much better day-to-day -day function. So when you think about it, if you have a joint, okay, I'll just like a ball and socket joint example here, bad, bad visual maybe, but it's all I got to work with today. So if you have this joint and you've got this inflammation in here when, when that joint moves, okay, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. But with regular consistent movement, maybe just some mild walking, even some mild strength training using bands or light dumbbells, is going to keep that joint able to move because if you just stop, this isn't going to get any better. It's going to continue to get inflamed. You know, there's going to continue to be inflammation here and pain. 
and at the worst of the pain is probably not the day you want to exercise, but not doing anything, just think of this like just seizing up. It's going to get much worse much more quickly than if you do a little bit of maintenance every single day, okay, to keep that joint moving. When it comes to like what exercises, because I know some of you are thinking, okay, smarty pants. <laughs> You're gonna sit there and say if that exercise is beneficial, so what should you be doing? Again, start with where you're at, okay? So be realistic in what you choose or what you think you can do, but also choose things that you like. And I would tell that to anybody whether they have arthritis or not because ultimately, if you're doing something you like, you're going to do more of it. So for example, if you really, really love yoga, keep doing yoga because you're going to keep doing the things you like. And even though you might miss a day here or there because you're just too sore, those are just, there are just some days that you're just much too sore and you take your anti-inflammatory medication and you just take a day to rest and maybe just do some light walking instead, at the end of the day, you're going to go back to yoga because you like it. Now, if you're somebody that absolutely hates yoga, you don't like it, but you love strength training, I wouldn't say, well, try yoga. Why don't you try yoga? It's probably really good for you. Well, yeah, it probably is really good for you, but if you don't like it, anytime you have even the slightest excuse to not go, you won't, <laughs> okay? But any chance that you can, if you do like strength training, you like working with light weights and dumbbells, uh, you're going to keep doing that. So pick things that you like, modify them if necessary so that they work with you where you're at and do those things because you will be motivated to do a lot more of them. Um, and that has multiple benefits beyond being part of your arthritis treatment plan and part of a healthy living plan. It also is going to help with that mental emotional health as well. If you're doing things that you like, you just feel better. You feel happier. Okay. Um, how many of us know somebody who has a gym membership? and they just, they gripe and bitch and moan the whole way <laughs> to the gym. They just, they don't like the gym, but having a gym membership makes them feel like they're doing something good for themselves. So they buy the gym membership and they maybe go, they prop, maybe do they do really well the first month, but then it just kind of tapers down to where they don't go because they don't enjoy it. So pick the things you like, because even on your worst days, you're not going to use that as an excuse to never do them again. You're always going to want to go back to doing things that you like and you feel better um, and you feel happier, all right? So what are some what are some of the best exercises for arthritis? Because there's probably, you know, there are some that are better as far as the majority. Now, this is me painting with a really broad brush, all right? If you were somebody who has been very specifically active in a certain type of sport or thing, I don't see any reason why you would have to stop that unless you've been told that continuing to do judo is going to hurt you. This is something you need to give up. There's some other forms of martial arts disciplines, maybe Tai Chi, something else that you can do that is going to um, satisfy your desire and your like for those types of disciplines, but maybe with not as much um, potential harm to you. So. Um, if you've been told by a doctor or whoever is monitoring your treatment plan, if they have said, look, this is just, you, you have to, you really do need to stop this. Let's find other things. Okay. You, you need to honor that. Okay. And you need to accept that and embrace that because there will be other things. Again, we're talking about modifying and choosing things that are going to work with where you're at. But if you're somebody who's been doing, let's say karate for years and you can still do karate, you might, you might not be doing four classes a week. Maybe you go once or twice a week, but you're still going, you still love it. It's not making things worse. It's keeping you mobile and flexible and, and you know, it's keeping that body, it's keeping you moving. It's keeping you active in life. I don't see any reason to stop those things. Okay. But for those of you that maybe haven't been as active, maybe you've been a little more sedentary, maybe you just the exercise you did was like going to classes, you exercised and did things because you knew they were good for you. You don't really have a particular favorite, but you do like the idea of exercising and staying active. But now arthritis is rearing its ugly head. It's making some things a little more difficult. Maybe you're a little bit older. Maybe you're, you have issues with balance things like eyesight, you're just not moving as confidently as you used to. And you're wondering where are some good places to start? Well, I do have a few other suggestions. One is number one, walking. Okay. And <laughs> stop rolling your eyes. Walking is free. It's easy and it's simple and you can do it anywhere. I will say get good footwear. 
Um, that's really important to have really good footwear when you're walking. Um, if you don't like walking outside, you can walk in it. You can walk at a mall. You can, a lot of rec centers now have indoor walking tracks and they even have times um, on their schedules that you can just, they're set aside for people that want to walk because those indoor tracks are also used by runners and sprinters and hurdlers. So a lot of um, communities, actually any city in the last 10 years that I have lived in has community centers with um, indoor tracks at their rec facilities with, you know, schedule like specific times that you can come and the track has been reserved just for walking okay so there's indoor walking tracks there are social clubs that are their mall the mall walking clubs that are or i don't know what they're called but they're walking groups and you can a lot of times see them at the rec centers you can see them at malls or other indoor facilities that are safe and there's a solid stable um, platform because that might be something that's important to you walking outside provides provides more of a challenge because you don't always get a nice firm safe flat surface to walk on especially if, you, if you're like me and you like to go up hiking in the hoods and up mountains there's roots and rocks and all kinds of things and I still trip over all that stuff so walking is free it's easy you can set your pace and if you if it's something you want to get better or faster at you know you can set really easy mini goals so you can you know I'm gonna walk for 30 minutes today and this is how many laps I want to get or this is how many miles I want to get and you can set those things on your phone or your Fitbits I mean there's so much wearable technology now that you can set and then you can increase your pace as you you know as you get better and again days that you're maybe sore a little more sore not so sore that you can't move but a little more sore that you're noticing you got you know you're kind of achy and the knees and the hips hurt a little bit this morning but you still want to go for a walk you can slow it down okay you can also go to a gym and use a treadmill a lot of people like the treadmill they can play with the inclines on that um, you can set programs and again you can set the pace pop in your ear pods and you're good to go uh, the next one yoga <laughs> okay um, yoga is another uh, can be a, a nice entry-level exercise for somebody that is finding that arthritis pain is really uh, compromising or causing them a lot of uh, issues in their life. Um, I don't think there's anywhere that you can't find a yoga class or a yoga instructor who's willing to do a class. And I mean, with YouTube these days, there are millions literally millions of free videos on YouTube with yoga routines that you can follow along right at home. So um, what I like about yoga is the fact that it does help you to focus on breathing. And I've done a couple videos, one or two for sure, on breath work and the importance of breath work and breathing as far as like a treatment for all kinds of health issues and just feeling better. So it's very low impact. It's a very non-aggressive, exercise activity so again depending on your pain level or your age you can find a yoga class or a yoga style that you can very easily you know beginner level and you know um, entry level beginner level get started at and just get some flexibility start working on the stretching and helping to support really good range of motion in your joints Another one, and I love this, this is one that I'm always talking to my mom about, is water aerobics. And you don't even have to do a water aerobics class, but working out or exercising, moving in the water can feel so good if you have arthritis. Now you can do a water aerobics class, and I don't know about you, I've seen I've seen a lot of aerobics, water aerobics class over my time. I was a swimmer way back when, and those people always looked like they were having so much fun like instructor and class participants. So you're not gonna have any trouble really, I don't think, finding a water aerobics class. If a class atmosphere is not your thing, that's fine. You can, um, again, pools have schedules. So there's like public swim time. Um, during public swim time, you could easily just um, go into the shallow end of the pool and walk the width that that walking and moving in the water is probably gonna feel really good. There's like no stress or pressure on your joints, the water's like supportive. So it's a great way, especially on days where you really do feel like, oh, I am really hurting today. Getting in a pool and moving might be one of the best things you can do for yourself as far as just how you feel and also feeling good in your mind. Like, hey, I'm doing something that's good for me. This feels so much better. I'm, I'm looking forward a lot more to my day today. It started out kind of painful, but I'm feeling so much better now. Just think how that's gonna change your entire outlook on your day. 
So getting in a pool, if you can do it, or if you're lucky, like I am very lucky because I live like minutes from the beach. <laughs> so I can actually walk out in the water and swim and play any day of the week. So if you have, if you are blessed like I am, definitely take advantage of that. If you live somewhere where you're looking at a public pool or going to a pool, see if you can find one that's got um, heat, like a heated pool, because that warm water is going to be quite soothing on your arthritic joints. Now I just want to talk a little bit about hands because most of the people I know that have arthritis, it tends to start with their hands. I know a lot of people like, you know, today, like in my family that have arthritic hands, not severe, but they're, you know, the fingers starting to look a little more crooked. They're noticing that they're typing or they're knitting or they're sewing. Uh, it, it can be painful at times. So a lot of people will notice as they get older, some miles, um, arthritis pain in their hands. So one of the things you can do is just hand stretches. You can do them sitting at it. You can do them anywhere, anytime. Okay. Even like in driving, sitting at a red light, do some hand stretches. And I wanted to show you all a very simple one Now you can buy little, um, I thought I had one here. I've seen them called stress balls because a lot of people in offices will have them and there's like squishy balls that you can just like squeeze. And they're really great for stress. You know, the kind of a way to get out some tension and aggression, but they're also great if you have, arthritis in your hands okay because it can feel really good now you don't have to go out and buy those if you don't have them you can do these hand stretches without a ball or anything and all you have to do is take your hand and like you stretch wide like the, i call it the big five big five and then squeeze squeeze fist like actually squeeze 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 you know for five four three two one stretch again for five and do that a few times. Stretch out for five, squeeze for five. And that um, that can help relieve some of that arthri arthritis pain. Um, but if you know that you do have arthritis, just do, get into the habit of doing those a couple times a day. It's, it's gonna be helpful to you. So that list that I gave you, those are not just things, like that's not an, um, an exclusive list of, if you have arthritis, here's what you should do. Those are just some ideas for those of you out there that know you have arthritis, have been told you have arthritis, you have arthritis pain, and you're just wondering, what, what can I do? If you're not already doing something that you love, you're not sure where to start. These are some places to get started. Also, and I didn't write this down, but I'm just had an aha moment. There is nothing that really is stopping you. If you do want some extra help and support outside of YouTube videos, um, is going into your rec center or a local gym and asking like, do you have a personal trainer here who works with you know clients of my age group that have arthritis or do have some joint pain? Because a lot of these gyms do have specialized trainers. They will have people that you know, they work with the athletes, they work with the bodybuilders, they work with the swimmers, they work with the runners, and there will be trainers that work with, you know, people, older age category, not necessarily old, and not even necessarily senior level, but will work with an older clientele who have these sorts of issues and can, you know, can get you started on a really great strength plan or exercise plan at the gym, if you like the gym that isn't going to make you hurt anymore, but will help you. So that's another option. So at the end of the day, is arthritis, is exercise helpful for your arthritis? Well, yes it is. Yes it is, but you do have to be very aware. You have to make sure you're not um, doing things that are causing you harm. But I would tell you that even if you didn't have arthritis. When you do have arthritis and you have arthritis pain, it's very important that you make movement a priority and you make sure you include it every day. So whether that's walking or whether you continue to do the things that you love, maybe to a lesser degree, but at the end of the day, keeping your body moving and staying active is gonna do a lot more to help you and to help with that arthritis pain than just sitting still, becoming sedentary and not doing anything. Exercise is not going to eliminate your arthritis pain, but it is going to support or help support a healthy lifestyle to keep you more mobile, more active and just all around feeling so much better. Hey, thank you so much for watching. I am Coach Tanya with Critical Bench. Before you check out, make sure you tune in to <laughs> check out that pinned comment below for the Unlock Your Hip Flexors program. This is a great program. Um, after watching this video, if you're still wondering what you can do, you want to check out this program. It is fantastic if you have arthritis and just if you want to add another um, tool to your fitness, healthy living toolkit. It's a wonderful program. So click on that pinned comment, find out all about it and how easy it is for you to get it right now. 
If you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you remember to click that subscription button and that little notification bell so you never miss any of our great content. Stay healthy, stay well, and we'll talk soon.